an epic chase has taken the Doctor and Jamie from modern day to the Victorian era to the far future on the planet Skaro, where they're trapped, along with Kemmel, Edward Waterfield, and his daughter, Victoria. Theodore Maxtable, a scientist, is now in league with the Daleks. They've promised him the secret of turning metal into gold. We meet at last. I wondered if we have a word. The Daleks have forced the Doctor to distill the human factor, that element of unpredictability, of nonconformism, of not following orders, that has made the humans so difficult to defeat. The Doctor hopes that if the Daleks can be made more human, they might become less of a threat. Gradually they will come to question. They will persuade other Daleks to question. You will have a rebellion on your planet. I've beaten you, and I don't care what you do to me now. But this has all been a ruse. The Daleks don't want to become more human. By giving them the human factor, the Doctor has shown them what the Dalek factor is. With it, they could convert all of humanity, make them more like Daleks, their willing and obedient slaves. <laughs> Doctor. You will take the Dalek Factor! You will spread it through the entire history of Earth! No. You can't make me do it. You can't! You will obey! Doctor! You will obey! Experiment ready! Transmutation of metal into gold. You mean to say he's walked against us all just for that? People have done worse for less, Jamie. Look at stuff, though. Metal into gold's an old wise tale. Oh, I don't know. The alchemists of the Middle Ages made transmutation their main aim in life. Ah, oh, they didn't succeed, though. Well, even in the 20th century, it's still considered scientifically possible. Of course it's possible! They seem to be prepared to protect you. Be warned. I appeal to you, Maxtable. It may still not be too late. If they are friends, help us. If you did, we could plan something. Try to escape. No! Well, at least for Victoria's sake. After what you did to her. No, I tell you, no! It's no good, Papa. He doesn't listen anymore. What are you thinking? I'm trying to puzzle out a problem, Victoria. The Daleks say I'm going to do something for them. Something I would rather die than do. Plus or minus point oh oh three. Plus or minus. Perhaps they think you're like him. Oh, no, the Daleks know me well enough by this time. They intend to persuade you then. Oh, no, no, it isn't that either. You see, there isn't a persuasion strong enough. Not even the offer of all the lives in this room. I see. Five lives against a whole planet. Well, it's not a choice, is it? No. Discontinue work! Discontinue work! Discontinue work! Why? Maxtable, tricked by the Dalek, steps through an archway which destroys his mind, turning him into a human Dalek. The Doctor also passes through the archway, and his companions aren't sure whether the Doctor is still the Doctor. through, or just as though he was... It must have affected him, we saw it happen. But you heard him speak normally just now. Another trap to make us walk through? Oh, they could push us through any time they liked. Do you think there's a chance? Something to hope for? I don't know. Well, I don't understand. I mean, how do we know we can trust him? Meanwhile, the Doctor, who is still very much himself, has switched the Dalek factor with the human factor. Daleks passing through the archway now are given more human minds, an ability to question, to disobey. A rebellion is spreading. 
the Emperor decrees that the humanized Daleks must be destroyed. We must go, Doctor. Yes, I know. I've finished now. Now lie still. I'll try and get help to you. No time for help. You saved my life, didn't you? Yes. Good life to save. Please, you, you must, Victoria. Don't worry about Victoria. We'll look after her. No time for, for me. Do not find him here. I said.